Hey y'all. Good morning. 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 I'm going to give y'all a few minutes to log on. Because I know I don't usually be here. So, hey, y'all. Good morning. How y'all doing? Hey. Come on, y'all. Come in the room and say good morning. Good morning. Hey. Hey, y'all. Good morning. How y'all doing this morning? Today is Friday. Happy Friday, y'all. Are y'all excited about today? I'm excited about, I'm always excited, y'all. Like, I'm always on 10 for no reason. But I got some stuff to tell y'all today. I'm going to wait until I get a couple of more people to join. Hey, hey. You know what? I'm feeling wonderful. I'm feeling wonderful this morning. Like, wonderful. Like, my birthday was yesterday, y'all. I had a nice time. Me and my kids, we went out. And um, I got back home and got right back to work. <clears throat> how can i join i don't know i'm not i'm not good with these um this instagram i have to learn that later but however so when i got back home after me and my kids went um went out i basically got back to work i don't i haven't told y'all yet but i got good news today i got some exciting news y'all listen so y'all know i've been working real hard hey good morning i've been working real hard on the book that um that i, I was supposed to I was supposed to release the book on yesterday on my birthday, but I had some complications. I could not release it on yesterday. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to release it on Friday. I'll decide today exactly what day I'm going to release the book. I definitely will keep y'all posted with that. But along this way of trying to to release this book, I was trying to get my my um, business established and everything. It just The month of August was just amazing for me. But I actually did it, so it's official. I have my own publishing company. I did all of the paperwork. I did everything. Got my confirmations, everything. I'm so excited about that. Thank y'all. Thank you. I'm so excited about that. Um, I had did a, I did a um, video yesterday on YouTube, but it ain't popped up yet. So I'm going to give y'all kind of like a little rough draft of what I said. Um, where's, where's the book set? Okay. So... <laughs> what I had what I had wanted I don't know I don't like when it's screen up here I can't I be trying to see what y'all saying and, and and talk at the same time that ain't gonna work but listen so what happened was y'all know I'm HIV positive or whatever and for so many years I wanted to write a book like I just used to write and journal all the time for years maybe 10 15 maybe not 15 maybe 13 I'll say let's say 10 10 10 years to give it an estimate i was writing for like 10 years i just was right everything everything i felt everything i thought i have so many notebooks around with just my thoughts i just was writing y'all and i always said i wanted to publish a company i always said that i wanted um to write a book and i let my emotions stand in the way of me doing the things that i wanted to do like my drive wasn't there like i had the vision but i just didn't know how to i didn't know how to how to act it out i didn't know how to do it and i honestly believe 100 percent i was standing in my own way of my own success my me winning for me not winning for everybody else not for my kids not for my men not for my husband not for oh she the girl with hiv and she doing well and it wasn't for that I, I i had to do this for me and it had to start with me feeling better about myself and what i was going through you know i was being abused i was being mistreated i didn't love myself all them things was going on how was i how was i gonna win like that y'all how how was i gonna win like that i could not win like that but the moment that i let the relationship go the moment that i learned how to love myself the moment that i decided i didn't want to be depressed no more the moment i started doing things to 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 make life better for me that's when things started to change that's why i be saying like hiv what like hiv what ain't stopping nothing periods in my life i'm definitely gonna do me <laughs> I don't know what to say. I had lost training. I don't like, I'm definitely going to what? I actually don't know what I'm going to do. I know that I'm going to be successful. I know that much. I know that God is calling me to help people in a different way. Um, my publishing company going to be kind of a little different. I'm going to teach people how to 
publish their own books. I'm going to do that. And if, and if they still can't do it because it, it, some stuff don't work for everybody, then I'll publish it for them. But my whole thing is to teach other people how to do the thing that they've been wanting to do for so long. I have so many people reaching out to me on a regular, like, how did you write a book? How did you do this? How did you do this? How did you do that? And I know I used to be there before. I know what it feel like to want to do something or actually have a, have a book written out and don't know where to start, don't know where to, where to begin, don't know where to end, don't know how to put it together, all that. I've been there before, and I definitely want to help people do that. Not only that, um, I want to help people that's trying to help people. And it's just about entertainment. You know what I mean? Like, People that write books for entertainment, that's fine. Like they be them books be lit. Like it be good. You know, but my what I'm trying to do is a little bit different. I want to help people that's trying to um encourage other people, that's trying to save other people. That's what I want my ass to be about. So that's what I'm doing, y'all. But listen, y'all. I am um, today Freaky Friday. Y'all know I come with the Freaky Friday. So today is Freaky Friday. So I got two books I want to show you guys two of my books that i'm asking you guys to purchase today i'm trying to sell at least 10 books today y'all now i know i can sell 10 books that's not a lie these books are 20 dollars a piece and no shipping shipping is included this book is hiv experiences y'all this is my last book that i dropped um i dropped this in february this book is lit i basically get my experiences on living with hiv i give a little uh, i give a little hiv education in the book i talk about um sharing my status with my friends family i talk about finding love um i talk about a lot of different things in this book if you guys want to purchase this book definitely inbox me or text 312-731-1786 and then this is the other book y'all Y'all, I know y'all ain't forgot about this one. Stop Hating Sad Chicks. This book is a really, really good book too. Um, Stop Hating Sad Chicks is basically my personal experiences with being a sad chick, hating a sad chick, and wanting to kill a sad chick. You know, but I changed my mind. I don't want to hate nobody no more. So I decided to write a book about it. it. The book is amazing. It has so many different things in the book. It talks about the three type of sad chicks, the three type of cheating men. It talks about serial cheaters. It talks about a lot of things. It actually even talks about let him cheat in peace and mind your business. Yes, I definitely said that. Mind your business. Yes, hunty. Because when you mind your business and the business that pays you, Man, your bit, and I, I didn't really put this in a book because back then I was just trying to see. This is the first book I published myself, <clears throat> and I just wrote a book like within a month, I think, and I just put it together. But thinking back, I could have put a lot of other stuff. I, like today, if I do sad, stop hating sad chicks too, it'd be real good. When I say stop, when I say let him cheat in peace and man your business, this is what I mean. A lot of people like man your business. What you mean? People is literally doing this anyway. A lot of our men cheat. A lot of them got sad chicks, and we know about it. A lot of them, they had babies on us, and we know about it. And we still with him. We see the same girl calling him. We see the same girl inboxing. We see all of these things that he doing, and we don't do nothing but argue and fuss and fight. You try to convince him to love you right. You can't convince somebody to love you right. They either going to do it or they not. <coughs> so stop arguing because you ain't going nowhere anyway. Stop hollering and screaming, right? Stop hollering and screaming and let that man cheat in peace. So why why he why he cheating in peace? Now you need to boss up. You need to figure out why you accepting this. Why? Why is you accepting him to do this to you? You need to take a look at yourself. You need to find out what type of life you want to live. Of course you don't want to be with a cheating. I was going to see a cheating ass man. Of course you don't want with somebody you don't want to be with somebody that's this lawyer and not treating you right. So you have to figure out why is you accepting this. You have to figure out what you like, what you don't like, how to love on yourself, how to treat yourself better. When you do those things, that's that's going to change the game because when you learn how to love yourself fully, like love you and everything about you. I'm not talking about your clothes and not no. I'm talking about loving you as a, as a woman or loving yourself as a man. When you begin to do that, you're not going to let nobody hurt you at all because it's 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 gonna cause problems with your life i can't be letting you make me feel some type of way like i'm good i'm I'm gravy like you the one with the problem so you you will start to distance yourself from the situation that you're in and you will start to demand respect and when you demand respect they either gonna fall in line or they're gonna fall off and majority of times y'all they fall off because they can't take it and then you that's man of your business after you make your business, then you boss up. Now you go and you 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 write that book. You go buy that car. You go buy that house. You do the things that you've been wanting to do forever, but you couldn't because you was mentally 
you was being mentally abused and you couldn't do those things. That's what I mean when I say them them cheating piece. Them cheating piece while you your mind together. So yes, I got these two books, y'all. So if y'all interested in ordering either one of my books, um, a autograph copy, y'all sign and put y'all name in it, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. Yeah, so that part. So I will um sign it, sign it, and send it to y'all. My number to purchase is 312-731-1786. I'm about to get start posting my website too. I'm working on that this month too. I'm working on so many things, y'all. I am so determined to win, y'all. I'm talking about Listen, on 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 my at my funeral, they're gonna be like HIV what? That's what's gonna be on my on my obituary. They're gonna be like Trivia Kennedy said all her saying was HIV what ain't stopping nothing. Period. Cause I am gonna win. And I ain't only gonna win. I'm taking pe people with me along the way and they gonna win too. And y'all know automatically my kids gonna win if I win. That's just what it is. But y'all, I'm excited about Friday. Today is Friday, today is freaking Friday. I'm gonna tell y'all one more thing and I'm gonna let y'all go. Do not forget to stop at the corner store and get y'all some comments. Yes, stop at the corner store and get y'all some condoms, baby, because you might need them. Put some in your car, put some in your house, and put some in your pocket, because you just might not know what make pop off today, because it's Freaky Friday, y'all. Okay, I'm going to let y'all go, though, because I play too much. Y'all enjoy y'all weekend and be safe out there. Now, I know how to end this now.